Good day everybody and I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Today we're going to get into switching Starfield from Game Pass to Steam. Now there's a number of reasons why you might want to do this. You might have decided to buy it on Steam and cancelled your recurring Game Pass Ultimate. Um, or for my case for example mods simply were not working to the full extent um, within Game Pass past a certain point. So today we're going to go over um, what it is that you're going to need to do to switch from Game Pass to Steam. So as you can see here, look, I've played Starfield on Game Pass now for just under 200 hours there, so 192 hours for example, right? And it was all working hunky-dory. I started to mod and my mods were working perfectly fine up until um, the last update that came in. And since then everything broke and I couldn't get any of my mods to work, not properly anyway. So what I decided to do was an uninstall on Game Pass after I'd done these steps and to completely do it all again from fresh with Steam. So step one, you're going to need to come over, do not uninstall Starfield on Game Pass at the moment, okay? You're going to want to come over to GitHub and I'll put this link down in the description. And this is a guy called Zinni. Z1NI, thank you very much for doing this, mate. It made it so easy to do it, okay? Now, what this is going to do is because Game Pass uses a cloud save, you're going to need to convert those cloud saves into SFS files that Steam uses. Start off, we're going to come over to where it says code here, and we're going to click on download zip. Now, I've already got that, so I'm not going to download that at the moment. Once you've downloaded that zip, you're going to need to extract it. So I've extracted it into the main folder here, and you're going to want to open it up. Now, along with this, there is going to be a main.py icon file, or Python file, okay? Now, for this, you will need to have Python, I believe it's 3.10 and above. So as I said, Python 3.10 or above, um, is going to be required for this. Now I'm going to use some Python later down the line so I have installed it. However there does appear to be a one file executable that can be done so you do not have to install Python if you do not want to. Caveat, I have not done it this way and used that executable. I did it by installing Python and then running main.py. Okay, It's a simple Python file that literally grabs all of your save files and dumps them into a save zip file as you can see here. When you extract these save zip files they're all going to be SFS files which are important for Steam because that is what Steam supports. Okay so after you've done that what you then want to do is go into Steam and you're going to want to download Starfield from Steam once you've bought it. Okay. Now the reason what I've done, and I'll put it out here, is I put it completely on a separate drive. So I used to have Starfield on my C drive, which was an NVMe boot drive anyway. And then I put it onto my um, game drive, which is another NVMe drive. The reason why I did this was to have a completely clean install and I've reinstalled Vortex as well. Okay, If you can't do that, just at this point uninstall Starfield from Game Pass and then reinstall it using Steam and use the Steam app that way. Now once you've extracted all these FSFS files and you've got your Starfield folder here, what you're going to want to do is go into your C drive or wherever you've got your documents under users, your profile name, i.e. for me, Gavin, documents, my games, and we're going to go into Starfield here. Now I had to create a new folder here and I named it saves. Once you've done that, all you need to do is literally control A, control C, and then click into saves and control V that will paste all of your save files into this folder. What that then means is you can then run 
your Starfield install through Steam and your saves will come up. Now when I did this originally it gave me my, I, I basically just loaded in my last save, it loaded level 68, I was level 72 so I just went back through and checked them. The saves will be out of order so just go and find your newest, newest save. And that should be all you need to do to switch from Game Pass to Steam for Starfield. Now, if you're running mods, the next thing you need to do is completely uninstall Vortex. Totally uninstall it. Doesn't matter what you need to do here. Just completely remove it from your system. Go back to Nexus Mods. Once you're on Nexus Mods, go to the home page. Go to support and go to install Vortex. The reason why I'm saying to do it this way is because I tried to install it from an old executable that I had previously and then try and do an update that way. For me, that did not work. Click on download the latest version now and get that installed. Okay. Once you have that installed, sign in. Make sure that all of your other mods, you've deleted them. Okay, I know it's going to be a pain in the ass, but it's the best way, in my opinion. Then you can just go back through once you've reinstalled Vortex and then effectively regain, regain all of the mods again. Okay, now, one thing to remember here, when you are running this game through Steam, and this is a problem that I came up against and stupidly I spent hours trying to troubleshoot it, okay? you have to run the game through the SFSE loader which is in the Starfield folder okay so when you come into your G Drive here go into your Steam library Steam apps common Starfield down the bottom here you'll see the Starfield icon you'll also want to try and run it through Steam your mods will not work that way okay you have an SFSE loader exe file here. What I've done is I've added a shortcut to my desktop, um, literally by right click, and from there go into show more options, create shortcut, and then copied that shortcut to my desktop. Okay. Yes, there might be a secondary shortcut in here, but I'm not going to worry about that for now. What that will do is it will give you a shortcut to this loader file but it won't look right and if you're anything like me it's going to be annoying so with regards to this go into the properties so right click again go into properties um, mess it up there and you're going to want to come into uh, where is it general change the name so it will just say sfse loader.exe hyphen uh, shortcut I changed it to be Starfield um, and that's worked perfectly fine for me um, and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come into where the icons are now you don't have to do this but this is just me being me if you want to change the icon you need to go into shortcut and there's an, an option here for change icon. Now, in order to get the original Starfield icon, I just searched Google for icon, uh, Starfield icon that was, and it gave me this Nexus mod, which has been done by Ryan Lightning. Very thankful there, thank you very much. Download that, and then it will. once you've unzipped that, you'll have the icons for Starfield. So when you're looking at it that way, um, let's just go into my download quickly. So Starfield default icon here, you've got fav icon. And what we're going to do from here is we're going to go into change icon. I've already got it selected. Browse to where you've got it stored. Select it. Click on OK. Click on apply and click on OK again and then your icon will change to the Starfield logo guys all right now I found that was the only way even though some of my mods were working okay so things like my um, when I come into here things like show star names was working star UI HUD star UI inventory 
um, all of those were working compact crafting compact shipbuilder they were all working however things like richer merchants um start, uh, what is it the other ones um the new lodge chest uh, no more temple puzzles none of those were actually working for me until i started running the game via this shortcut guys okay i hope that's been helpful for you guys any questions please do leave it in the comments below and if you do like this style of content please leave me a like and a subscribe guys it really does help out the channel we're trying to get to 750 subscribers by the end of march would be great but hey that's in your hands guys listen hope you join me in the next one and i hope you all have a very good day